Hi, I'm Beth with 50 Plus Beauty and I'm excited that you're here with me today to look at another stretch mark cure. Well, it's probably not a cure, but it's another beauty tool we can use in our arsenal against our stretch marks. As many of you may know, I had a laser procedure on my stretch marks and my stretch marks happened to be on my thighs. I didn't get one stretch mark on my tummy. I got them on the front of my thighs, which makes wearing a one-piece bathing suit very challenging. But I did have a laser procedure plus the injectable Sculptra, which really did help my stretch marks look quite a bit better. And I'll link that video below if you're interested in seeing the first half of my stretch mark treatment. But that treatment was very expensive, so I'm not going to do that again. But what I am going to be doing is continuing to work on my stretch marks with this Derminator 2 machine. And it is a wonderful microneedling device. Here is the little head. And the Derminator can be used just like a derma roller is on the face, on stretch marks, on scars, on acne scars, that kind of thing. And if you're interested in seeing the progress that the Derminator makes on my stretch marks, please go ahead and subscribe and click that little bell. That will just notify you of my future videos. So to work on my stretch marks, let's go into my bathroom. Okay, here we are in my bathroom. You haven't been in here in probably a year. I think I did one of my first few videos here in my bathroom. And the first thing I did, because my stretch mark areas, which are right here, are very sensitive, is then I used a lidocaine cream, and I put this on about 10 minutes ago and let it sit there. And I put the lidocaine cream on the areas that I'm going to be derma rolling, my stretch marks, and on my knee scar. All of the things I worked so hard to keep hidden. I have heard that derma rolling can work on hyperpigmentation in all of these three areas, in addition to having problems. They also have hyperpigmentation, so we'll see. And after I used the lidocaine cream to numb it, I went over each area with my alcohol, and this is the alcohol that I always use with my derma rolling. Very, very careful to make sure everything is sanitary. Here's the little Derminator machine, and the needle depth for stretch marks is around 2.5, so I'll be using that. Also, this Derminator machine has a timing feature, which will allow me to time my stretch mark treatment to make sure I'm getting exactly the right amount. Basically, what you do is you calculate it based on the area. I believe it's in about a six by six inch area. So I'll go ahead, single needle, no. Nine needles, yes. Timer, yes. Inches, we're gonna do six inches. Okay, by six inches wide. Okay. Turn on timer, okay. We're going to do the fast needle time. And the depth, we're going to be doing 2.5. Kind of loud. There we go. So we'll just be going up and down little stretch mark areas. They say to do it in circles. But I found it's pretty easy to do it just up and down. Of course, maybe I should listen to this. And I'm going clear to the edge of the hyperpigment areas. I got a little hyperpigmented when they did the laser treatment. And if you'd like to see that video again, it's below. Maybe I'll do a little circle treatment here. And I'll speed it up and it's kind of boring for you. I'm getting a little bit of blood here, which is fine. Just a little bit. It doesn't really hurt. It's a little uncomfortable, I would say. I think the numbing cream does help. And it says I have 2 minutes, 18 seconds left. It's nice to have the timer, I have to say. Yes, I am getting a little bit of pinpoint bleed, they call it. And after you use the machine, it's very, very important to soak the head in some alcohol, a sterile solution. And I am getting pinpoint bleeding, I don't know if you can see that, but that is to be expected. And again, I do this every six weeks, so you probably won't see the final results for maybe nine months, something like that. I'm down to a minute 20. 
you know, minutes never seem as long as when you're getting needles stuck in your thumb. Go to the edge of the hyper pigmentation now. We're down to 47 seconds. I did a little on my arms to combat the gut leaves and hopefully firm up that skin for skin laxity is what it's called. But the needle was not as deep as what we're going now. I think it's about a 1.5. And so there was no pinpoint bleeding there. Okay, we're going to Okay, there we go. Whoa. Now we'll get a clean white washcloth. Doesn't have to be white. Put a little alcohol on there. Just kind of wipe up the extra blood there. And that is how that looks. Now I'll do the other side off camera, but I'll go ahead and do this little knee scar next. We'll put it on the fast time mode. Then we'll do the needle of 2.5 again, because that's just the scar. Okay, here we go. That's a little more, that's a little more uncomfortable because it's over a bone. Okay, I think that's enough. Again, I will be doing this thigh off camera. Well, that was a look at my first Derminator treatment, and again, I'll be doing them every six weeks, and at maybe about the nine-month point, I'll do a second video and show you my befores and afters, and again, if you'd like to see that, please just go ahead and subscribe and click that little bell. That will just notify you of that video and my future anti-aging videos. Well, I always like to leave you with a little thought for the day, and today is no exception. I've been using these Life Loves You cards by Louise Hay. Absolutely love these cards and her. Okay, let's go ahead and choose a card. Okay, ooh, I love that. I am willing to let love in. I am willing to let love in. Open your arms wide and say, I am willing to let love in. It is safe to let love in. Repeat three times. Friends, this is a really wonderful card. Open your arms wide and say, I am willing to let love in. It is safe to let love in. You know, in our first half, we were all subject to many different hurts from many different people, and sometimes it's easy to close down our hearts. But friends, let's not do that. Let's open our hearts and let love in. So friends, repeat three times with me. I am willing to let love in. It is safe to let love in. I am willing to let love in. It is safe to let love in. I am willing to let love in. It is safe to love It is safe to let love in. You know, it is hard for me to say that because sometimes we don't feel that it's safe to let love in. So just for today, remind yourself that you're willing to let love in and that it's safe to let love in. Because friends, when we can let love in and know it's safe to let love in, we can have joy and love and happiness and a wonderful second half. Take care. See you next time.